Hi, I'm Wanda from Melinda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to couch without a couching foot. So let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is explain what couching is. Now it's taking a piece of thread or cord, a piece of wool, uh, and laying it down over your fabric and then sewing it into place. And this creates a nice texture and uh, gives you a unique look. So you can see here, I've used uh, some different types of wool. Um, I've got this one here, which is, a, as you can see, is a, a very unusual looking wool. I've got some cord, just regular cord. Uh, I've got white cord, which we've got over here on this one and then just a variety of wool and you can see what you can do you can actually just um, do straight lines down down your piece of down your project or you can do some wavy lines if you like uh, you can do things like this a geometric design and you can actually this here i just hand drew a leaf and then just couched around it so there's all sorts you can do to make your projects really pop now the first thing we need to think about is the fabric that we're going to use now i'm using a lightweight quilting fabric so it needs to be stabilized and the reason it needs to be stabilized is because it'll pucker uh, if it hasn't got something to to take up the thread behind it so I've got a piece of um, just an ordinary batting now I've also got my um, backing on here because I don't mind if the stitching shows on the back if you don't want the stitching to show on the back then just leave your backing fabric off and just go with your piece of fabric and your batting or your stabilizer whichever you're using now if you're using a heavier weight fabric like um, canvas or denim you may not need to use a, a backing on it or a stabilizer but just test your fabric before you start to sew so the foot that you need to use is the foot that will allow you to do zigzag on your machine. So just check your manual to make sure you've got the right foot on. I'm just using the regular foot because it allows me to do both uh, straight stitching and zigzag. And my machine is set on a straight stitch and I'm going to select a zigzag stitch. Now every machine is different but all machines generally come with a straight and a zigzag stitch. So I've selected a zigzag. And down here I have the default settings. So what I've done, so you can see it's 3.5 mils and 1.4 mils, uh, and that's the width of the stitch and the length is the length of the stitch. So what I've done is I've just quickly um, sewn these stitches to show you what they look like. So that's at the default settings. And here I have increased the width of the stitch and in here I've increased the length of the stitch. Now you're going to have to play with these buttons depending on uh, what sort of cord or thread or wool you're using because you want the stitch, as I said before, to go over the, the cord. You don't want it to go in the middle and split it. So now I've got my fabric and my piece of cord and I'm just going to leave a bit of, hang of the cord hanging out the back there and just push it so that it's under the middle. The cord is sitting under the middle of the foot, if you can see that there. And I just put my foot down. Now, you need to do a few practice uh, bits to get the width and the length right. So I'm just going to turn the hand wheel and just see how that's going to go. Alright, so it's looking alright, but I might just up the length a little bit. Okay, so let's start sewing. Now you'll see once you've sewn a few stitches whether or not this is working for you. I'll just keep your hand on your fabric and use your right hand to kind of guide but I, I keep my left finger and thumb on there now that's looking a little bit like oh, it looks fine okay so can we see that you can see it's going over the uh, the cord and it's not too narrow so that's fine I don't want it to be flattening the cord down and you just keep sewing and if you want to turn then you simply Turn your cord and let your machine and follow around with your, your machine. Okay. Take your time, it's not a rush, just to get the effect that you want. Of course if you have a cording foot this thing is this is so much easier, but if you don't have one, then there's no reason why you can't do this process. And sometimes you'll do what I've did there and it's in the wrong spot, so lift your lift your foot and turn it round. Okay, so we're back on track. Okay. 
Okay, so there you go. You can see what you can do with it. It's, it's pretty brilliant, really. And I've got a piece here of, of um, wool that's got a fringe on it. Now, you can fringe right over, you can cord right over that, or you can just fringe on the edge and leave that piece, leave the fringing free. So that's another option. Now, you can see here, I'm going to have to adjust my settings down because that's going to be too wide for this little piece. So I'm right down to about one and a half. And I'll bring the width down to about 1.2. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let's test it. Okay. It's just going on quite nicely. I'll stop there because you don't need to see me some heaps and heaps of stuff. Okay, but you can see there it's just caught it and I've still got my fringing here as well. And you can do exactly the same if you've got a piece of lace. You can take a piece of lace, lay it down and grab a piece of cord Lay the cord over the lace, again put it under the foot, and just give it a hand crank to test it. It's a bit narrow so I'll take it up a bit. Okay, so let's try that. Now you can see I could have taken that wider, I didn't take it wide enough. So you need these are things you need to look for. So you actually want it to go over both sides of that cord. But as you can see, you can couch that lace into place. So you can see how easy it is to uh, couch without a couching foot. It's a lot of fun to do and you can use all sorts of cords and ribbons and, and walls uh, to make your projects look great. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our website at landacraft.com. We'll find more great tutorials.